Hello, all my Montville families. This is Miss Jessica and Miss Jessica's Fairy Tale Story Time. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we have been doing different versions of the Three Little Pigs. Today, we are going to be doing the Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. I know normally we think of the pigs as little cute and sweet little characters and the wolves are those big mean creatures, but it's actually the opposite in this story. So I hope you tune in and you enjoy the story for today. So the three little wolves and the big bad pig. This is one of my favorite fairy tales, I have to tell you. Okay. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, the mother called the three little wolves around her and said, My children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Oh, don't worry, mother. We will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and they set off. Soon, they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Oh, please, will you give us some of your bricks, said the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. So they're all building a house together. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. And when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and they locked the door. The pig knocked on the gr door and grunted, Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but... The house didn't fall down. But that pig was not called big and bad for nothing. He went and he got his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. The poor three little wolves only managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then, they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Oh, please, will you give us some of your concrete, asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy, slurry concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. No sooner had they finished than the big, bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the three little wolves had built. They were playing battle door and shuttlecock in the garden when they saw the big, bad pig coming. They ran inside their house and they shut the door. The pig rang the bell and said, little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. That pig, though, was not called big and bad for nothing. So he went and he got his pneumatic drill and he smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. We shall have to build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then they saw a truck coming along the road carrying barbed wire 
iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Oh, please will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars and armor plates, and some heavy metal padlocks, they said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros, and he gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a very generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, most secure house one could possibly imagine. And they felt absolutely safe. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling along the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. And when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house, bolted the door, and locked all 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, Oh, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But he was not called big and bad for nothing. He actually brought some dynamite. He laid it against the house. He lit the fuse and the house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. And look, there he is, blowing up the house. And those poor little wolves are running. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different, but what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming along pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Oh, please, will you give us some flowers, said the wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo. And he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. One wall was marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers. The floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in the bathtub, buttercups in their refrigerator, and it was a rather fragile house, and it swayed with the wind, but it was very beautiful. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the three little wolves had built. He rang the bluebell at the door and said, Oh, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the pig. Uh-oh, this one actually might blow in. But he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff. He smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath and another. And instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant scent. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then he decided to become a big good pig. He starts to sing and dance under the flowers. At first the three little wolves were a little bit worried. It might be a trick but soon they realized that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of the house and they started to play games with him. First they played pig pog and piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. 
They offered him tea and strawberries and wolfberries, and they asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted, and they all lived happily together ever after. So I guess everybody was kind to each other, and now they all got along. Isn't that nice? And now everyone has a kind heart in the story, which I love. Kindness counts, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. We'll be doing a different fairy tale next week, so tune in to figure out which fairy tale we are doing. I hope everybody is getting ready for summer, and school should be ending soon. Um, hopefully I'll get to see you in person soon. Um, as libraries are starting to open up and uh, I know we're going to be having car service soon. So I will hopefully see you soon and otherwise tune into story time. Bye everybody.